country. And black people and people of color, we're in a worse situation in this country. And how is it that we can be in such a bad situation? What I believe is that we are what we are because it was meant to be. Regime change has been had placed on the African American community in this country for a very long time. We have the COINTELPRO papers that tell us that in 1919, when J. Edgar Hoover heard Marcus Garvey speak, he understood that America might have a problem. And at that point, he wrote a memo. And in that memo, he said, So it began, the story of regime change in the United States. Regime change didn't just start with Saddam Hussein. Regime change has been visited upon the American progressive community since the days of COINTELPRO, and they wrote it down. It was also with Martin Luther King Jr. It was with the Native American community. It was with the Puerto Rican independentistas. It was with the Chicano movement. It was with the white progressive movement. All of these movements were targeted by the United States government in what Senator Frank Church at the time called illegal and un-American activities. Now, this regime change has resulted in, I believe it's been very successful, and it has resulted in us having false friends in high places. Oh, yeah. The success of regime change can be measured by the fact that in, in the place, in the seat of Thurgood Marshall on the Supreme Court since Clarence Thomas. Julius 
Caesar. Someone gave it to me because they wanted me to understand that where we are today is, is not anything new. We're not in a new place. For 100 years in the Roman Empire, there were 14 people who were murdered by the so-called representatives of democracy, of Republican-ism, uh, in the Roman Empire. And they were murdered because they dared to think that the court system ought to be reformed so that everybody had an equal shot at justice. They dared to think that education ought to be made available to everybody. They dared to think that land reform should be something that was Im implemented so that people could have access to farming and that people could have access to land. And they were murdered. Assassination, whether it be political assassination, as in COINTELPRO, misdirect, discredit, or otherwise neutralize, those are the, like, the words that are used in the founding COINTELPRO document. This has been something that we have always faced. Those of us who dare to confront empire, and the reason I stand up here today as the former member of Congress is because I dare to confront empire. Uh, 